What's in Disney's toy chest? Welcome back to Gotta Have Toys. Today we're going to do another series on our Bob the Builder video. Talking about all of our construction equipment. All the different utensils, all the tools that we use when we're building things. We're going to go over these again and we're going to talk in detail about each one of them. Now Bob the Builder's not here today, but I know he'll be back soon. That would be his hat right there. His hat, he's actually out right now, but when he gets back, we'll do another show. We've had a lot of feedback from everybody wanting to know a little bit more about our tools. So today we are going to get into detail and talk about each and every one of these awesome, awesome tools and then talk about what they do. So stick around. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we're ready to go. We're going to pick up our first tool and we're going to talk about what we can do with each one of them. This is a socket wrench. Socket wrenches are perfect when you've got certain types of lug nuts that this little octagon shape will actually sit on. So what you do is you take that and you put that right on top of, for instance, one of these. We'll get a smaller one here. Here we go. So this one is a socket that fits right on top of this screw. See, this screw actually can do two different two ways you can tighten it. You can use a Phillips screwdriver on the top, or you can use the socket wrench, and you put it right on top of that one there, and you just turn it around. And you can tighten it no matter where you use it. So let's just let's do an example. Let's show you exactly how this works. Let's see if we can find the right size. Okay, so you have your wood, right? And you drill a hole inside of your wood. Once you've got the hole there, you want to use a screw, and it's got to fit inside there perfectly. So we put that on top. We start it a little bit there with our hands. You can see it coming through the bottom right there. It's already coming through. Then you take your socket wrench, you put it on top, and you turn that around. And you keep tightening that until it goes all the way down. That's how that works. I won't go all the way with that, it'll take a little too much time, but we'll go ahead and screw it down with our hands so you can see once you've used that socket wrench and you tighten that up, it goes all the way through. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. So we've got that. That's our socket wrench and it's got two sides. And most socket wrenches will have different sizes. One will be a large and one will be a small size. So it'll fit different sizes. Next up we have, we're going to show you the vise. This is an adjustable vise. See that there? Looks like a, the letter C, right? So this can be clamped to two pieces of wood. So let's say that you've got two pieces of wood and you want to take these two and you want to secure these two pieces of wood, right? So you put them together, put it on top like that. Then you take your vise, you put it on top of the wood, just like that, and then you tighten it from the bottom up. So as we, this is a little tricky when I don't have my helper, when Bob the Builder is not here, it's a little tricky, but we tighten it up. Okay, we straighten out the wood, make sure that it's, there we go. Right, so you want to keep these two pieces of wood together while you're putting a screw in there. Then you use a vise. This is like a clamp, a C clamp. That's also called. A lot of people call them a different names, but it's a really a vise. You keep twisting this and you tighten that up. See, and that holds those two pieces of wood perfectly together. So then you can drill and put whole screws, all, all kinds of good stuff. Then you can loosen it up when you're done, and then you can take the wood apart. So those are called uh, vices or C-clamps. Sometimes people call them C-clamps because, again, they look like the letter C. Very cool, very cool tool. That one's nice. So we also have, we have our Phillips screwdriver, right? One is called Phillips. That's the one that has the four heads, four tips. You see that? So it's got one, two, three, four. It's a Phillips screwdriver, and then we have a flathead. It's kind of a funny name, flathead, but it's actually just flat. 
So what we use these for are different types of screws. Some screws, put that down over there, come with the Phillips head. See, we showed this earlier. That's a Phillips head. So we take the Phillips, we put that inside, that fits inside those four sides, and then you can just screw that down. You can screw that right into the wood. See that? Four sides. It's called a Phillips. Fits inside there. Now, sometimes certain screws will have a flathead. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So this one has kind of a flat head on the top. If you see that right there? Straight across. Okay, so we take our flathead screwdriver and that goes right on top of that and then you can screw that into the wood because it has that flat line straight across and we use a flathead. All right, so that's a that's the first couple of, of pieces of equipment that we're gonna talk about today. And we're going to do another video, and I'll show you another one in a couple of minutes. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. And remember, Bob the Builder will be back today. I'll have him back here on the show, and we'll do another one. Welcome back to Gotta Have Toys. We're doing our second video on our power tool series. We're doing about three or four different tools each day. And we're going to be talking about all these really cool, let me show you, really cool power tools that our Bob the Builder used when we did our other video. He's not here right now, but we're going to have him come back soon. There's his hard hat. You can see right there. He'll be back shortly, and we'll have him do a video with us, my little helper, Markies. So these are all the really cool tools that we use to build stuff, and we're going to talk about each one of them. So we'll do another three or four tools today, and then we'll do another video to uh, wrap it up and talk about the remaining tools. So we've got stuff like the C clamp, which we talked about before. We got a flathead screwdrivers. We got pliers, really cool pliers. We got hammers. We got wrenches, and we got screws that have threading. See those little, see those little twists in there? Those are threading. We've got nails, and we've got cool measuring devices. Our levels. We have our saw, we have our power drills. We're gonna talk about each one of these. Check that out, that's pretty cool. And then we've got our other saws, we got our calipers. So let's get started, let's go ahead and pick up a couple of them and we're gonna figure out which one each one is. Okay, so this, this is one of the really neat tools in our toolbox. And I say neat because this can adjust, it becomes bigger. Let me show you what I mean. See this little part right here? We actually take that and we move that and that's gonna actually open up our wrench. As we move this, see this begins to open here? And this is an adjustable wrench, it's called. And it's a wrench which can grab on to, let me show you. For instance, we could take one of our screws, right? And if we needed to take it and we needed to wrap this around there, we would open up our adjustable wrench. Let me get that open for you. And we would put that around the screw. Get that open a little bit more and then we could tighten it. See, as we open this up, see how big that gets? See how much more bigger that is? And then that goes around the screw, and then we could screw this right into whatever we're, we're putting it into. If it's like into the wall or a piece of wood. Check that out, that's pretty cool. And then you can adjust it. If you have a smaller screw than this, you can make this even tinier. You just adjust this little dial and it goes right back down, see? Very, very, very fun. And those, that is actually an adjustable wrench. All right, so we got that. Now, we have, a lot of you have probably already seen this one, this is the hammer. Very simple device, but it does two different things. Two different things. You could take the front of this, you can take that, 
and you can actually hammer a nail. Let's say you had a piece of wood. This is going to be our wood, right? And you got yourself a nail. Put that in there. Now watch this. Watch it come out through the bottom right here. You see this? Watch that part there. You take your hammer, the flat part on the top, and you... Look at that. You can hammer it right through the wood. How cool is that? But this does two different things. It also it hammers, but it also uses this side and you can pull the pull the nail out. How cool is this? Watch. See that? Pulls it right out of the wood. Check that out. That's pretty awesome. And that's what it does. This back side, the back of the hammer, you actually take it and you put it underneath and you grab the nail and you pop it right out. That's pretty cool, man. Pretty cool stuff. So we have our third item. Let's see. This one here is our, is our screwdriver, our electric drill. Let me put that over there. This one's our electric drill. This one has a little battery pack. See this part right here? This is the battery pack. You take this knob, you open it up, and it slides off, and you charge this part. This part here is the battery, and you can charge it. And when you're ready to go back on there, you slide it on, and you're ready to go. And all you gotta do on that one, let me just get that adjusted. All you do on that one is you, you hold it with the handle, and you pull that. And you can drill, listen to this. And that drills your screws right into the wall or wherever you may be putting them. Pretty neat, huh? And these are the type of tools that Bob the Builder uses when he builds all of his houses. When you see him on the cartoons, these are all the things that he uses to make it happen. Well, thanks for watching today. We're going to do uh, another video and explain a few more, like our other wrench here, and a few more drills and our other saws. So if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our station. Bye.